Threats against cybersecurity remain a significant danger to healthcare operations, especially in rural areas. That is why Dr. Marnix Hearsink of I Center South and the UAB Health System are partnering to train a new generation of cybersecurity professionals. News 4's Jacqueline Lambert explains. Now more than ever, investing in cybersecurity is a major priority in several industries, including healthcare. So it's, it's a very structured business um, in cybercrime. Cybersecurity breaches can have costly consequences for patients. It's not just the, the bad guys getting your data, because they will make money by that. They'll sell it and then you identity theft and things like that. And hospitals, especially in rural areas. The real money is made by shutting down your systems, knowing that as a hospital, you can't be down for very long and you're going to pay that ransom. Through a partnership, Dr. Marnix here, Sink of I Center South and the UAB Health System are working to enhance cybersecurity at area hospitals. We know there's threats that are going to be damaging to our economy, to our patients, to our entire world. So the fact that UAB is committing to come here to do some cyber training, cyber security training is very significant. Several interns travel to Dothan from Birmingham to receive training from TW Security. Here they will learn the ins and outs of performing required HIPAA risk assessments. There's a shortage of cybersecurity professionals uh, across the nation, not just, you know, in healthcare, but especially in healthcare. However, the shortage in healthcare, especially rural, is significant. So if they don't have the people or the technology to, to protect themselves and they don't really know where to start, it makes it very difficult. For them, it's a completely different threat than it is for like a large health system, and we want to help protect them from that. UAB will provide these HIPAA risk assessments for area hospitals at a fraction of the cost, saving those hospitals money while getting interns much needed experience. In Dothan, Jacqueline Lambert, your hometown news leader. Dr. Hearsink says strengthening connections with UAB for programs like this in the Wiregrass will improve the lives of the community.